Hi guys, it's Lita. Yesterday, I kind of had a self-realization thing. I sat out on my roof and just by myself because I was feeling really negative and just kind of wanted to get outside. And I thought about what it is I want to do. I have a fear of the future in that I'm afraid of what is to come. I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to support myself. I stopped thinking like that. And you know, for the past couple of years, I have had absolutely no confidence in myself, and I've just been afraid and just kind of caging myself in. And yesterday, I thought, why the hell? I'm 19 years old, um, and I'm still just being afraid. I realized that no one else is going to be there to change my life. I have to be there, and I have to be the only one that is willing to change my life. Because if you're sitting there waiting for someone or something to come along to just drastically change your life and make everything better, then that is, that's not gonna happen. That's not how things happen. You have to make them work for yourself. If no one else is going to tell you that you can achieve your goals, then you have to be the one to do that. You can't fall victim to what other people think or else you'll never go anywhere. If you want to achieve something, then you do that. You achieve it. Because you can, you just have to unlock your potential. And to unlock your potential, you have to realize that you have that potential. And I was thinking yesterday, and it's, I have never led a normal life. Like, I've always been the outcast, the weird kid, you know. Um, and then this YouTube thing came along, and that's weird. <laughs> and so, for the past couple of years, I've been trying so hard to live a normal life. I've been trying so hard to just be a normal person, so to speak. But, you know, for not just me, but for every single person out there, and every single person watching this video, you are not normal, and you don't have to be normal. You don't have to listen to other people's standards. You don't have to mold yourself into something that isn't truly you. In fact, you won't get as far if you're doing that. So embrace every single unique part of you and apply that to your goals and what you want to do in your future. If your goal is to be a famous best-selling author, then start writing a book right now and work for years as a long-term goal to get that to happen. Because if you truly convince yourself and truly believe in yourself that you can do something, you will do it and I can promise you that. If you envision every single day what you want to do and what you promise yourself you will do, you will do it and you can do it. There will be things that stand in your way as obstacles and there will be people who tell you that you can't do it and who will try to stop you, but you know what? They don't have any say in what you do. They don't have any say in what you choose to do with your life and how well you do it. That's your job, that's your responsibility, is to decide what, when, and how you will do things. Stop focusing on the things that you can't do. Yeah, some people can't do some things. I can't do a fucking cartwheel, so that's a thing. That's one of the mistakes I was making in my past is like that video I made focusing only on my flaws. I thought at the time that that was something good to do, was to just focus on flaws and realize what's bad about you. I don't see that as a positive thing anymore. What I learned yesterday, in an instant, is to stop looking at what you can't do and start looking at what you can do and what you will do. Because I can promise you, if you look at it like that, then you will do great things and you can do great things. And this is going out to every single person watching this. This doesn't apply to the people who have good grades or, you know, whatever. It doesn't apply to any certain person. This applies to every single person. Yesterday I was looking at the trees over there and I thought all of those trees started out as something so small and they had to endure being stepped on and picked up by birds and animals and stuff in order to reach the height that they have reached now. So really all you have to do is you have to take charge of what you want and to realize what you want just sit down think about what you're passionate about it will take time it will sometimes take pain or emotional scarring whatever you will achieve it 
And once you do achieve it, you know, later on in your life, you'll be like, I can't believe I did that, but I did. And when you feel this, when you feel like you have a purpose, which is what goals do, is they give you a sense of purpose. And that is an amazing feeling. It will also boost your confidence. You know, when you have confidence, it is life changing. So what I'm trying to say is, you can do anything, but you have to grasp the concept that you can do anything. So no matter how long it takes, just try every single day to remind yourself that you have the potential to do it. You just have to find that potential first. You have to find a goal. You have to tell yourself, I will do this and you will do it. <sighs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Just remember to always believe in yourself no matter what because people will tell you otherwise people will put you down for it, but you can do it, and when you do achieve that goal, the world is yours, starting now. Okay, I love you guys so much. Please have a beautiful day. I hope you're having a wonderful 2014 so far. <laughs> Bye.